very good morning to everyone welcome to global online here we are back with our nta ugc net paper one preparation for 2022 batch as you all are aware that we are doing this mcq second series we have already completed first series in the last week and in this series today we have taken the topic that is ict information and communication technology before we go ahead let's uh, make a big announcement that is for ugc nta net paper 1 new batches that is the new uh, batches for upcoming cycle will be starting soon all the details will be uploaded to you on the channel you will definitely get all the information in case if you are planning to prepare for the next cycle and uh, you want to know all the details you have to stay tuned we will come shortly with all the details apart from that students who are appearing for examination right now we have a quick revision pdf for paper 1 consisting of 2000 plus mcqs updated mcqs current affair previous year question papers and most repeated questions you can get in touch with this given whatsapp number the fees is 599 for your paper 1 it as in quick revision we have paper 2 notes and mcqs available the subjects for paper 2 can are listed on the screen these are the subjects which we offer The fees is seventeen hundred with a current twenty five percent discount going on. It is one two seven five, and the WhatsApp number are given below, so you can get in touch for the same. Now let's start the session for the day. So we have total questions, as you all know, we have total questions five questions. Total number of marks are ten, so every question carries two marks. Uh, last time I in last week itself ICT we did so little bit students had requested you know more of the questions. So if we get time, we will just see. I will put an exclusive session on ICT also. So right now let's finish off this question and then if time is provided in the span of one or two days, I'll upload that. Okay, very good morning. Yes. So starting with the first question on the screen which of the following is a search engine so is it internet is it bing is it skype or it is acrobat reader so you are supposed to pick up the search engine it is talking about what it is talking about first question is talking about the search engine the options are listed below um you can just go through all the options and uh, give me the right answer it is asking you to go for search engine okay answers i hope everyone can read the question very well screen and everything is clear so you can just read the question quickly and you can start by giving the answers okay yes so question number 1 yeah very good morning to everyone good morning good morning yes very good okay so yes very good so when we talk about search engine so basically uh it is you know search engine that is a program that searches for the database so from the given options which stands as a search engine that is option number b bing as all of you have stated it right but let's quickly have a little bit of information about it so when we talk about search engine it is a in search engine is a web based tool that enables the users to locate the information on world wide web okay and i have listed you can if you want you can just zoom the screen and take i have just listed the uh, i mean this is search engine in india's i have listed it separately in the box also which will help you to revise at a once okay at the same time we'll just have a little bit of information about uh, A little uh, with respect to specifically to India. So let's understand the first private. Now this is very important. Just mark and keep, or at least mention it and keep uh, very well. So when we talk about uh, search engine, the first private search engine has been developed. Okay, in India and be ready to launch on Indian Republic Day. That was twenty sixth of Jan, twenty twenty one. Now. a proud moment for every indian to occupy its search engine name comu that is designed and developed by indian researchers at under atmanirbhar bharat that is self independent india mr nitish was a young man from ahmedabad was the one who has launched this private search engine that is on 26th of jan 2021 so just keep in mind the the information with respect to india specifically with respect to india it will definitely help you to you know answer the question in case if you get the question with this respect fine okay now uh question number 2 I hope it is very clear with everyone. Okay, now let's go to question number two. I have given you the information also, and please store the information and the names also. Fine. Yes. Now second question comes as PCI. 
now uh, in technology what does the term pci the acronym pci stands for so pci basically stands for partial component interconnect partial component interaction Peri peripheral component interconnect or it is peripheral component interaction so what does this term pci the acronym pci stands for okay just a minute i'll just refresh the chats just a minute it's got stuck up just give me two minutes meanwhile you can start answering the question yes yeah it's all back so we are talking about what we are talking about the acronym pci what does it stands for options are given below you can read the options and give the answer that is partial component interconnect it's partial component interaction okay we have started getting answers it is peripheral component interconnect or it is peripheral connect sorry component interaction so these words see now in this it is little bit difficult you know if you are not able to know the acronym very well so yes the term pci stands for it's peripheral component interconnect option number 2 the sorry the question number 2 the option is c now what it is i have just listed with the help of diagrammatic presentation also uh, non it students can understand basically peripheral component interconnect is a local computer bus for attaching hardware devices in a computer and is a part of PCI local bus standard that is peripheral component interconnect and this is how diagrammatically it looks like okay so it is basically it's a local computer bus for attaching the hardware so it is not option number 2a or d it is option number 3 that stands for peripheral component interconnect okay as i told you last class also some students you know those who are from non it background at least some important topics revise you have to you know you can't ignore this topic completely for your examination so be careful 10 marks are allotted to this now let's understand the functioning also maybe in case if you get any code questions you should be able to do this so the function of pci slot is to allow you to expand your computer capabilities so basically that is pci express the terms or the functioning the best type of expansion slot to have in pc is pci express also it is written as pcie it slot uh, communicates with the motherboard and therefore with the microprocessor it can be you know the things can happen both quickly and efficiently pci slot is the most common form of internal expansion which we had studied now and agp it is basically a type of expansion slot that was designed to deal with graphic adapters so apg sorry agp stands for accelerated graphic ports older pcs have may support this expansion slot but best video cards use pci express so latest which is used is called as the pci express is it clear okay if you are not knowing this technicalities little bit just at least have a note and revise it very well coming to question number 3 wireless technology built in electronic gadgets for transferring data over short distance most of you went wrong some of you went right uh don't worry chamlesh you will get your i uh, admit cards uh just i have to see one notification morning i didn't see any uh, on the website of uh, this i didn't see any notification but you will get don't worry we'll update on the channel at one also if anything you know comes immediately fine yes wireless technology built in electronic gadgets for tran transferring data over short distance is it wifi is it bluetooth is it modem or is it usb okay question number 2 those who went wrong many of you answered correctly also but those who went wrong i have answered their questions also so yes the wireless technology built in electronic gadgets for transferring data over short distance yes very true that is bluetooth is the short distance or short range wireless technology that is used for exchanging data between you know fixed and mobile devices over the short distance now see here i have highlighted using ultra high frequency so what is used for that exchange of information it is ultra high frequency i have highlighted that word be careful anima uh, be be careful it's not wifi here they are asking about transferring data over short distance wireless technology okay so that is called as what it is called as bluetooth fine all went uh, everyone did correctly just be careful but what it is used also for so now 
data WOS stands for what? So there is a acronym called as WOS, database WOS. So what does this O uh, sub WOS stands for? Is it web of science? Is it web of series? Is this world of science or is it web of service? So term called database WOS. What does it stands for? The options given are web of science, web of series, web of oh, sorry, world of science and web of service. Yes, question number four. Okay, Sajil has already started answering others. Four A. Okay. Just those who are having exams, maybe tomorrow, day after tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is 29th. Commerce, Tamlish, you are from your exam. So because the commerce and then we have management. So just keep your mind calm, which is very, very important. Even small, small things can go wrong. Uh, basic things. So be careful. Don't have that nervousness and anxiety. So basically, it is not D. Many of you have answered D, D, D. Oh no, it is not D. It is web of science. Web of science. Now see, what is, now understand very carefully what does it means. Okay. Database WS. It is basically web of science. Yes, correct. Abhilipisha, that is, which was previously known as web of knowledge. It's, it is a website that provides subscription based access to multiple database that provide comprehensive citation data for many academic disciplines. So basically it is called as what? It is called as web of science, okay, which was earlier known as web of knowledge. Yes. Is it clear? Okay, so be careful and understand if you are not, if you are studying this word for the first time, at least revise it and keep it somewhere in the piece of, you know, book or paper so that you can just have a look at it. Yes, tomorrow it's commerce and day after tomorrow it's management. Yes. Now, question number five, VDU stands for what? So it is virtual display unit. Is it virtual detection unit? Is it virtual display, uh, visual display unit or is it visual detection unit? What does the terms? Yes. Yeah, commerce students see as such there is no notification it will be it will be there so just have a look at the channel if in case any notification comes we will also upload it on the channel by one uh, update as an update video okay so right now you just concentrate here everyone this is very important your admit cards will come don't worry for that relax and just answer these questions yes uh vdu stands for what Virtual display unit, some of the, them have answered, some of you have answered visual display unit. Okay, let's see what does this VDU stands for. So basically VDU stands for visual display unit, visual display unit. Okay, now see, I have given a picture uh, diagrammatic or picture form of presentation also just to make you understand what does this VDU stands for. It is visual display unit. An electronic visual display, informally a screen, a display device for presentation of images, either the text, either the video which is transmitted electronically without producing a permanent record. This display units include television set, computer monitor, uh, monitor sorry, and digital sig uh, signage. So this is what an example I have listed over here for your understanding. Is it clear? Okay. So be careful what does see it's, it's not only about by hearting what is visual display unit but in practical what exactly it is try to understand and hence I have brought some diagrams so that it will help you to keep your mind in your mind very well. Form. Okay let's go to now very very easy question but a lot of students make mistake in this so I purposely brought this question for revision. Dash represents raw facts whereas dash that is a blank is mentioned is pro processed meaningful data so what it is is it information and bits is it records and bytes is it data and information or is it information and reporting so we are we are talking about raw facts and we are talking about processed data okay so this is uh, technology language so we are using the term as raw facts and process meaningful data so what gets converted into what okay uh, shrine has already started answering good okay great okay 
yes question number 6 so when we say uh, when we call raw facts it is called as what it is called as data information is called as process data okay now let's have a look some students you know get bit confused so just quickly we'll have a look at this so data can be any character number images word text which has little or nothing uh, to mean or to a man when data is processed okay so it is basically it is something which is completely raw and in order to you know make it meaningful it has to be organized and presented in a you know in a proper context which is called as information data alone alone cannot never can be significant whereas it has to be you know uh, the processing it definitely makes it valuable that is the information data is based on records and observation whereas information is based on analysis of data so even i mean to say for an information to be meaningful it has to have uh, data into consideration so data is on unorganized and depends on information whereas information always depends on data and is or organized the reason to show you this distinguish is not to make you understand what is data and information i just want you to list i'll take a look at the statements you know especially in assertion reasoning statement questions they can give such overlapping statements to twist the question so be careful okay now coming to question number 7 which of the following storage device stores maximum amount of data so the storage based on memory you know either the sequence comes or some information comes so there is one question based on this so here i am give i have given a question is which of the following storage device stores maximum amount of data is it compact disk is it floppy is it hard disk or is it magnetic optic uh, optic disk so which of them is basically the device which stores maximum amount of data so compact is it floppy is it hard uh, or is it magnetic disk okay yes okay yes so yes which of the following storage which has maximum amount that is hard disk we have you know i have just listed out this is very important for you with the capacity sometimes even the capacity that is hard disk blu ray dvd cd flop floppy tape pen drive memory cards so just this will give you an idea many times you can see questions based on their sequence descending and ascending order so you have to be very careful okay now in computer related activities what is the full form uh, for the computer related activities which among is the full form that is what is the right full form Ra write on random memory write on real memory write once read many or write once read memory so when we talk about uh, computer related activities which of the full form stands to be correct from the given so the forms which are given over here is write on random memory write on real memory write once read many or write once read memory yes you can read it very carefully and then you know answer the question yes i'll just wait for everyone to get to answer the question okay so question number 8 everyone i'll repeat the question they are, they are asking about computer related uh computer related activities yes okay now we, yes here here this again this question is brought specifically by lot of mistakes students make in this question now also all the different answers are coming so basically it is in computer related activities that is uh, sorry i i think yes this part of uh, full form of uh, yeah here they have given i mean to say i've written a full form related activity now here see now be careful the question can be twist twisted in many ways over here i have written over here that is warm it's nothing but write once read many okay now let us understand what does it describes okay it describes as a storage device in which information once written cannot be modified cannot be modified this write 
protection affords the assurance that the data cannot be tampered with one, when once it is written on the device so basically you can get a question with an acronym of one also but base even if you get a general question with respect to computer related activity so it is about what it is write once read many describing the storage device now it can be a part of your storage device when the information which is written once cannot be modified and this is real this is basically done for what for ensuring that there is no tampering done with the information or the data is it clear so be careful this uh, especially you know such acronym for questions or such questions can little bit be tricky for you so you should know exactly and this this was uh, not exactly same question but similar question was there in 2019 cycle also okay fine now yes i have done last week i have taken a question on ram and rom same i have i mean to say with same topic i have brought one more question with the type of statement about the ram in a computer system so they have given us what they have given a statement related to ram now ram is non volatile and the amount of uh, ram in a computer system affects its performance ram is non volatile and it the system i mean to say the amount of ram in a computer can affects its performance it is cannot it is can it is a volatile and the amount of ram in a computer cannot affect the performance and it is volatile and can it it can affect the performance so there are four statements with respect to ram okay now you need to tell that which statement stands to be correct from the given list the statements are talking about what ram whether it is non volatile and cannot affect the performance whether it is non volatile and can affect and it is volatile cannot affect the performance whereas it is volatile and can affect the performance okay question number 9 we have already started getting answers okay so yes let's see 9th a 9th c 9th d again all the answers are varying so let's see so basically ram is a volatile uh, is volatile and the amount of ram in a computer can affects its performance d yes most of them have answer d but there are some wrong answers also lakshmi what happened today your answer went to, i mean to say this be careful so basically we will understand yes it's about volatile and non volatile Norm normally we see these questions but nowadays little bit detail questions are also given so let's have a look at this also okay uh, ram is read uh, uh, sorry random access memory over here okay read write memory random access memory here whereas rom stands for read only memory less data is stored when the power is turned off data inside it retains even when the power i mean to say the power of cpu is switched off costlier ram is costlier than rom whereas rom is cheaper it holds a large amount of data as compared to rom whereas rom holds a small amount of data ram is faster compared to rom rom is you know slow as compared to ram data can be modified easily whereas here it is hardly it can hardly or never be modified now here are we we are talking about what we are talking about the memory that is you know ram which is volatile and it can definitely affects its performance as i said no depending upon its speed or depending upon the data different or storage it can definitely affect the speed fine yes now uh we have next question is on storage only now here they are asking us which of the following is not considered as a form of secondary storage read the question carefully they are asking us that which is not considered as secondary as a form of secondary storage is it ram is it floppy disk or is it optical or is it flash drive so which of them is not considered as the secondary storage okay question number 10th everyone which of the following is not considered as a form of secondary storage okay yes good very good 
easy question but i thought many of them are taking okay time yes very good that is when we talk about the right answer that is your ram now when we talk about your storage that is uh, memory in the form of primary and secondary under primary we have ram and rom just now we have did it uh, but tool uh, just be uh, careful your which answer you are giving for 10th it is ram the answer is ram that is option number a whereas for secondary we have hard disk floppy cd roms as well as dvds on this also i have taken you know uh, a session detail session in my theory i will try to put ict you know little bit uh, once again uh, so that you can be able to revise the concepts okay fine yes now coming to question number 11 now question number 11 you have such one question also that is the file format the question based on file format which of the following file format is not a video file format so they are asking about the file formats are given that is avi mou uh, sorry mov mp4 and jpeg so they are saying that the file format is not a video file format so these are you know basic things very technologically we have to little bit upgraded with all this extensions of formats so let's see how many of you can attempt this question some basic questions of ict you know they are not that much difficult which we use in our regular work but you need to be little bit careful yes so the file format which is not yes a video file format uh, yeah very good that is jpg file so basically if you can see okay uh, when we have mp4 or it is also called as mpeg4 okay one of the earliest digital video format that was used introduced in 2001 okay so definitely supports what it supports the digital support and that is abbreviated as mp4 mop uh, sorry mov is a pop popular video format designed by apple whereas avi is a file format which was introduced by microsoft so these are all the video file formats except option number d that was jpg file okay fine now question number 12 Uh, what is meant by the term ram now see they are not asking you the uh, full form they are asking you the meaning of the term from the given options it is memory which can only be read memory which can only be written to memory which can be used for permanent storage or which can be used for both read and uh, to write yes but tool is m m o v what exactly that is a video file format only okay extension of movie basically but it is a video and animation file okay yes 12th option number 12 i'm just seeing all the answers consistency okay so basically when we talk about ram yes it is which a uh, memory which can be uh, both read as well as it can it can write also okay and just now we have seen a question based on that now on computer network also you have a question so here they are asking most of the time it is with examples or a direct question comes so here they are asking a computer network which is used within a building within so whether it will be called as wan man lan or san so which is the network which is used within the building part okay question number 13 everyone okay 13 answer has started It's within the building yes now this question basically i have brought to revise all the terms for everyone yes uh, so basically when we talk about within the building it is lan but i will definitely quickly revise all the topics san stands for a storage area network which is specialized high speed network that provides you know the block level network access which is typically uh, composed of host with such storage elements storage device that is interconnected with variety of technologies and protocols that is your san 
Now let's quickly have a look at all local area network. The land that is just now we did it is within the limit of you know residence, school, laboratory, campus, or office building. When we talk about WAN, a wide area network, basically which extends to geographical location, wide area networks are established with least uh, uh, telecommunication circuits. Okay, that is you can say you know where it is used in a wide form, geographical, large geographical area. When we talk about MAN, MAN is basically metropolitan area network. That is, with respect to what, with respect to the residents, with respect to the com complex, with respect to the commercial uh, places, and then we have CAN. That is campus area network. So in camp within a campus, when the network is to be spread from one uh, destination to another, we use something called as CAN. That is campus area network. Is it clear? So just quickly, I have just revised so that you remember whether it is based on what you can get a question. Fine. Now, what is the name of web page address? So when we talk about the name for a web page address, do do we call it as domain? Do we call it as directory? Do we call it as that protocol, or do we call it as URL? So what is the name with respect to web page address? So when we talk about web web page address, what does it indicates? It does it indicates domain? Is it indicates directory or a protocol or a URL? Yes, fourteenth question number. Yeah. Yes. So silly basic questions. No, do not make a mistake. So yes, it is URL when we talk about web page address. It is with the help of uniform resource locator, which is termed as a web address, which is refer which a reference to a web source that specifies its location on a computer network and mechanisms for retrieving it. Okay. Yes, uniform locus. Uh, sorry, uniform resource locator. Okay, now yes, here again on this type also we get questions based on domains. So, which of the following domains which is used for profit business? So, they have given the domains that is dot org, dot net, dot edu, dot com. So, every domain has a specific meaning. So, when we talk about uh, the domains that is dot org, dot net, dot edu, dot com, which tells that it is basically for profit business. Yes, everyone. Fifteenth, okay. Fifteenth answer is one. Fifteenth answer is D. Yes. So when we talk about question number fifteen, that is uh, sorry. Uh, we are. I forgot the list over here. That is nothing but when we. Uh, Okay, now see, I'll just first list over here. Here also different answers are there. So dot com is for commercial site. Dot edu is for education. Dot gov is for government. Dot org is for non-profit organization. Dot mil is for military. Dot net is for network. Now here we are talking about what we are basically talking about. Do, I mean to say a profit business. So when we talk about a profit business, that is a dot com, not dot org. Please remember dot org. Many of you have written org also, fifteen a also. Okay, but it is not dot org. It is basically dot com. That is a commercial site which basically is based on what on the business profit. Okay, fine. So yes, uh, all the students who are having their exams tomorrow, day after tomorrow, day after tomorrow, management students still have a day. But commerce students, anyone in the class, uh, be best luck to every one of you, and do your sir, do give your best by keeping your mind calm and ensure that you know you are not having any uh, tension back of the mind. Whatever, how much it is possible, try to cover it up with the given time limit, and sh make sure that you are definitely cracking your examination. Okay, yes, that's all for the day. Tomorrow, for the other students, will come up with a ten a.m. class with a new unit revision for MCQ series. Fine, thank you. Yes, Abhilipisha, still you have done well. We will cope up. Try to cope up this unit also. Okay.